so welcome back to another video so in this video we will be discussing about uh, n channel uh, enhanced mode mosfet so in n channel enhanced mode mosfet uh, the structure of the n channel enhanced mode uh, mosfet is given here as you can see we have a drain terminal and we have a gate terminal and the source terminal and this uh, drain terminal is connected through a metallic plate this black color is a metallic plate to the n plus region so these two regions are n plus region why we called it as n plus region in a sense this n regions are heavily doped that's why this plus indicates uh, heavily doped okay and this p substrate is there in the p substrate we integrated to n plus region and p substrate is uh, lightly doped and this n substrate is uh, heavily doped and towards this n substrate through metal plate uh, the source and drain is connected and we can see the gate terminal is there and this white colored this is called uh, uh, the, the dioxide layer that is silicon dioxide insulation layer so because of that the gate and the p substrate is separated these two are two parallel plates so we can tell that there is a capacity effect over here and uh, you can see that uh, comparing with your uh, depletion layer MOSFET we don't have any we don't have any channel over here we don't have a dedicated physical channel that's why we called it as an enhanced mode if there is a physical channel present here then it is a depletion mode uh, MOSFET and if the physical channel is absent then we call it as enhanced mode and due to that we can say this enhanced mode MOSFETs are always off condition because there is no channel between these two end region. Uh, if there is a channel present then there, definitely there will be a flow of electron from this end region to the next end region. That is a fact. Now we can see uh, this is the circuit symbol for uh, this uh, end channel uh, enhancement mode MOSFET. So we have a gate terminal drain terminal and the source terminal so in the previous case uh, this line is not broken that means there is a continuous uh, like this the drain and source is connected in a continuous line like this and the reason is that uh, we have a physical channel over there but here we don't have a physical channel so the drain is separate and the source is separate there is no physical connection between the drain and the source that's why there is a separation over here because this is due to the absence of the channel that is the only difference between this uh, enhancement MOSFET and a depletion MOSFET. So I hope you understand what is the structure of the uh, N channel enhancement MOSFET and what is the circuit symbol of enhance uh, N channel MOSFET. Now we will talk about the operation of this enhanced N channel MOSFET. So the condition one so case condition one is that case one is that we are considering uh, the VGS so we have considered here VGS is equal to zero VGS is equal to zero in a sense this gate to source side are short circuited there is no applied voltage we just short circuited and the drain is connected to source with an external supply that is a positive supply the positive potential is connected to the drain side and the negative supply is connected to the uh, source side so when the positive supply is connected to the drain side then we can see that uh, the positive is coming here so the drain side is positive so when the drain side is positive this positive is connected to n that is n contains uh, the majority carriers are electrons and you can see the p substrate is here now it is actually reverse bias condition okay so but we don't have any powers uh, any mode of uh, current flow here because we don't have a channel so simply we can say that even though we consider there is an external supply connected to the drain side but still there won't be any current flow because between the source and the drain because uh, we don't have a channel so we can say the MOSFET is in off condition when VGS is equal to zero that is your case one now we go for case two so case two is that when VGS is positive that is when we are going to apply a positive voltage to the VGS so when we are applying a positive voltage between the source and the gate then where gate is positive this side is positive so this is the gate side and this is positive so when gate side is positive what happen means the positive supply coming to the gate side and you can see 
here this is nothing but your peat type substrate so when peat type substrate is there and gate is positive this positive definitely repel the holes in the p region p substrate so when the holes in the p substrates are uh, repelled away from this uh, uh, silicon dioxide this area then what happen means the remaining uh, the minority carriers in this p substrate in p type substrate the minority carriers are electrons so the majority carriers are holes so this positive supply in the gate will repel all the holes away from this border and instead of that it will attract all the electrons which are the minority carriers from the p substrate to the border this sio2 silicon dioxide layer border so what happens subsequently all the electrons come here sedimented over this area and that will create a channel n channel between this n type to n type region understood so the, this is how when an external supply is given to the gate side that is a positive potential applied to the gate side that will create an impact that it will uh, it will attract all the minority carriers electrons in the p type substrate to the border side and we will get a uh, con con n number of uh, free electrons in this side and that will create a channel and if you are increasing this vgs value more and more uh, minority ca charge carriers electrons will be sedimented in this area and we can get a uh, very good channel for uh, very good channel for the current flow that is electrons so n channel is created with the uh, necessary channel width so this is happening when we are applying a positive uh, supply in the gate to source side now so this condition is there and uh, this is happening when we are increasing uh, the gate to source voltage from zero when we start slowly increasing the vgs value from zero zero means we don't have any uh, flow from source to drain there is no charge carriers uh, later on we can see that uh, uh, this uh, vgs this voltage will increase slowly then it will attract a few electrons initially but what happen means it repel holes also so while attracting the electrons to the border side the holes are going away from the border side during this process few electrons and holes will be recombining so initial level we don't have any free electrons in the border side but when we slowly increase this vgs what happen means more number of electrons is attracting towards so it will uh, co come across from this uh, com combination uh, holes electron combination and will be sedimented in this area okay and we can see that uh, when vgs is less than this vth vts is nothing but the voltage at which uh, we have a, a channel is created between two n plus region and so that time uh, if the vth we don't get a threshold voltage the vgs is less than this threshold threshold voltage in a sense at this particular voltage we got a perfect channel there all the electrons will will sedimented here you can see that all the electrons sedimented over here you can see here then we have a perfect channel between the two n plus region so if this the, the point at which this channel is formed that particular gate voltage is called uh, threshold voltage so the gate voltage is less than that uh, threshold voltage during that time the channel is absent so we have id is equal to zero and if we are increasing the channel is formed and also we are going to increase the vgs beyond that when the vgs is increasing beyond that then what happen means depending upon the uh, drain voltage this vdd uh, the id start increasing just like your previous uh, output characteristics id start increasing based upon the increase in the vd and we after a certain period of vdd we get a constant id value that is your normal output characteristics and once you further increase your uh, positive voltage and why this uh, that means the output characteristics look like this we have a vdd uh, and we have id then initially as i told you once you cross the threshold voltage then uh, based upon the different vd value your current start increasing id increasing at one particular point uh, we have increasing again further increasing this vdd then this vdd in a sense we are giving this uh, id side more positive then this pn junction this n type uh, n type substrate and this n plus region and the p type substrate these two will be in 
formed a reverse bias condition and more and more positive supply is applied to the drain side then we have a depletion layer formed here and subsequently it will reduce the channel width because of the ch reducing the channel width uh, there will be a constant current flow that is called id so we will get like this a constant id so this is the output characteristics curve like initially uh, the vgs is uh, zero that time we have uh, a, a, a zero id and uh, later we slowly increase the vgs value uh, 3 volt 5 volt like if you are starting the threshold value is nothing but your 3 voltage when we are applying 3 voltage we have a small uh, channel creation happening there and a small id is there and when we increasing this vgs value furthermore accordingly your current increases id increases and at certain voltage uh, pinch off happens then further uh, you have a constant id so this is the output characteristics of uh, n channel enhancement mosfet and we can also see the transfer characteristics of n channel mosfet so which is plotted against the current id versus uh, vgs so this is the output characteristics of this uh, n channel uh, enhancement mosfet as i told you uh, initially id is equal to 0 and during vgs is equal to 0 then vgs increases slowly then there is uh, the electron hole pair crosses the junction and at a particular voltage 3 volt uh, this is the point where the VGS is revolved, where uh, there is a channel is created between the N plus region that what that VGS value is called a threshold voltage that is happening at a plus 3 volt and after that when you are increasing this uh, VGS beyond this 3 volt threshold voltage what happen means your current increases along with the VDD and uh, after particular point your ID become constant. So when we plot this ID versus VGS initially we can see that uh, VGS is equal to 4 you have a constant current from this point and if you are extending that this is VGS is equal to 4 you get one point here next VGS is equal to 5 uh, you extend this point then this is VGS is equal to 5 you are getting another one point here like that you track all the VGS value that constant current value horizontally corresponding to the VGS value these two points will cross us cut here and here like this here here like this you join all the points and you will get a transfer characteristics so this is all about uh, this n channel uh, enhancement mosfet